and even carry their passport to say they are not Nigerians. Because the target, the target there is Nigerians. If you go to Congo, they are not comfortable with Nigerians. If you go to Zimbabwe and Zambia, they are not comfortable with Nigerians. In fact, even a, a country that is close to Nigeria as Ghana, have a problem with Nigerians. There is a problem, there is a general trait that Nigerians have. There's, there's a necessary aggression that other people don't find comfortable. This one is for the Nigerian brothers. Uh, today I want to address Nigerians. Why is it that everywhere that you go, you are hated? I'm failing to understand. Why is it that every single country that you go, or most countries, nobody wants you? Like, why is it not Namibians? Why is it not Ghanaians? Always, it's Nigerians. Do self-introspection, please. You go to these countries, you disrespect them, you don't abide by their law, and now you are making our job as Pan-Africanist Pan difficult. How can I go and preach one Africa when you guys are behaving that way? Who is going to listen to me? When I go to the masses and preach one Africa, all that I get is, but do you see these people, what they are doing, they are disrespecting us. And one thing that annoys me so much, you even have the audacity to call our people, our men lazy and whatever the names that you, guys, that is not the way to do things. You can come to my country and seek refugee and we accept you. After that, you don't even respect their law. You don't respect, guys, there is why this thing is not happening to Ghanaians and maybe Namibians or everywhere. It's only Nigerians. Nigerians. No, Mara Nigerians. Um, you are making our job as Pan-Africanist very difficult. We can't achieve one Africa when you guys you are still behaving in this way. And I'm not ruling out xenophobia. I know it's there. That's why this word even exists to even begin with. But there is no way that you guys, everywhere that you go, everyone just hate you for no reason. No, do self-introspection. You are making our job very difficult. How can I go and preach a one Africa to the people that you guys have offended? No, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with you guys. Um, that's why today I have to reprimand you. You know, I am for one Africa. If you follow me, you would know that I'm, from, I'm for one Africa. In fact, I am a very proud Pan-African. And even carry their passport to say they are not Nigerians. Because the target, the target there is Nigerians. Mm. If you go to Congo, they are not comfortable with Nigerians. If you go to Zimbabwe and Zambia, they are not comfortable with Nigerians. In fact, even a, a country that is close to Nigeria as Ghana, have a problem with Nigerians. There is a problem, there is a general trait that Nigerians have. There's, there's a necessary aggression that other people don't find comfortable. Why do you think there's uh, seemingly uh, an influx of Nigerians in most African countries? Because their country, I think because of the terrorism effect that is going on in their country, and again because of the bulging population and the high rate of unemployment, so they are, going, they are operating like Chinese. They are finding a way they can deposit their population. Unfortunately, they are depositing themselves with their Nigerian cultures, which do not fit in us. Even in Nairobi here, when you go to Kilimani here, we always see Nigerians opening, wanafungua uh, bunduki, wanataku pigana na the Kenyans. Those kind of things we have to make sure that they stop. If you go to Donom, they are doing very crazy things with our ladies. And those are the things that we... In fact, even last, this week on, on, uh, on Sunday, the, uh, the, the police arrested three people. Uh, some of them were Nigerians with fake money. M-Pesa, they are, they are hacking into our M-Pesa, they are having fake money, illegal trade that are done by, the, done by these guys. We are only asking Nigerians and other foreigners in our country that let them live within the norms and traditions of the people of that host country for them to enjoy the freedom and everything that that country brings. Honest, I really, 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 100%, mm. I do not blame South Africans for not taken to nigerians to be honest okay that's interesting yes I, i'd like I, to know i why. am telling you i have several times have put myself in their shoes mm. when you hear some of the things our brothers do it 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 just breaks my heart okay it it breaks my heart now how do you explain to say i am not like that Mm, mm. I've been stopped by the cops and immediately they just think 
negative once they find out that I'm Nigerian, that I'm Nigerian. And when I relate with them with respect, mm. one of the questions they've often asked is, are you sure you're Nigerian? Mm. And one of the days I asked, I, I was like, okay, why are you asking those questions? If I'm sure that I'm Nigerian, I said, because you guys are very rude. Mm. So it's, unfortunately, your brothers are very rude. Mm. Mm. You know, you, I, even if I stop you and even if you have all your documents, it is my right and my duty to ask for them. Yeah. So, but when I ask for their documents, they, they start flipping and, been angry even when we want to they've searched my car um a few times and i'm like no it's fine you're doing your job search i know you're not gonna find anything mm -hmm. so search use whatever you want to do you're doing your job and mm -hmm. i appreciate them for doing their jobs and most times they find my cds in my cars and i'm like ah, is this you yeah it's me that's what i do and you know i would get talking and be like are you sure you're nigerian so, so when you hear things like that, you would see that, okay, why be arrogant to someone who is doing his job? True, true. My name is Golden Boy, and I'm feeling, feeling, feeling very day, every day, and I'm getting annoyed that uh, there is frequent fight between these African countries. Or you'll find that Kenya is fighting Tanzania, Tanzania is fighting Uganda, South Africa is fighting Nigeria, Nigeria is fighting uh, Ghana. These fights, I, do, I believe that it is not helping Africa to grow. Now, what I'm getting to uh, this is that you, it has been a persistent and consistent that where you guys are really, really abusing Nigeria. And it has come to an, a, a point where Nigeria is having a negative serial fight about uh, Africans. And guys, in this video, you'll find that majority of people don't like Nigeria. They're saying that Nigerians are having these... There are a lot of negative things which are happening in Nigeria. Now, I, I didn't want to say that Nigeria is being hated all over Africa. But majority of countries really, really hate Nigerians because of the things that they have been doing. But uh, or, or bad, uh, because of the bad influence that are uh, putting in those countries. Now, in this video, uh, this is just a Kenyan guy who talked. And also this is also a South African lady who talked. So uh, I wanted to give you reasons why maybe these countries is having this negative impact. I know you have been seeing this and you have been hearing about why these fights continue continuing. Now guys, uh, one of the things that I want to tell you is that uh, the reason why you guys are fighting Nigeria is because it has economic dom dominance. And this is just a pure fact. First of all, we need to uh, understand that Nigeria is one of the largest population in Africa. And why do I say that? Because Nigeria has the largest economy because of their population. Now, largely due to this, uh, the reason I'm talking about this largely economy is because of this oil, wealth, and large population, which uh, you people didn't know. And again, there is so many, there are many, many uh, tribes in Nigeria. And the reason why this economy is very, very powerful is because that economic power can sometimes uh, lead to perceptions of or arrogance or dominance particularly an uh, organization like the ECO ECOWAS, okay? Then there's another one that you also guys are really, really fighting these Nigerians. It's about the cultural influence. So, why do I'm talking about that? Because uh, when you look at their Nollywood, when you look at their Afrobeat music, and a lot of uh, things are being copied right from Nigeria. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because Nigerian culture, especially through the Nollywood, it's in its film industry and Afrobeat music has significant influence across Africa. While many African countries usually admire this cultural output because most of the Nigerian musicians do perform outside Africa. And this is why you'll find that other countries are really, really envy of them. Now, guys, I'm also very, very envy about how they're doing this, their, their culture because you'll find that there is an upcoming artist who the Nigerian musician will touch and make sure that it's also in the same same level with them. And why, why is this? Because these upcoming artists, they usually don't perform in Africa with their uh, viral videos. They go and perform outside Africa. And this is why you'll find that many African countries are not doing. So it is the reason why you are hating Nigerians. 
Now, these are just stereotypes which I'm talking about here. Another one is about the scam and uh, fraud. Nigeria has been uh, unfortunately been associated with various types of scams, such as the infamous Nigerian prince who had an uh, email scam. So these negative stereotypes has led to a general mistrust and negative perceptions of Nigerians abroad. Okay? So scams and fraud, the moment you see Nigerian coming to your country, the only thing that you first realize is that these people have come to scam some people. And we, we as Kenyans, we also have bad influence, uh, bad influence with Nigerians. There's a certain way that they, they used to take our girls and then they do fraud with these ladies where they will make these ladies pay their monthly rent for a period of two to six months. Then they will disappear. This is just a scam. Then there's another one about uh, political influence. Nigeria has often lead, uh, play a, re a leading role in Africa politics, including the mission and diplomatic efforts. While this leadership is sometimes appreciated, it can also lead to resentment if other countries feel their sovereignty is being undermined or if they perceive Nigerians' intervention as self-serving. Remember Niger. Niger had, uh, Nigerians wanted to, to, because Niger had a cop, Nigerian government wanted to get included. And these Nigerians were being influenced by the ECOWAS or by, by outside uh, African, Africans, like the Europeans. They wanted this country to be taken back to their original state. So it had a political influence, but it was very, very negative. Like, why are you fighting your other country? Okay. Then there's another one here about the competition of resources. In region region where Nigeria has a large migration population, such as uh, South Africa, there can be tensions of over job and resources. These tensions are sometimes exacerbated by xenophobia and can lead to a negative sentiment toward Nigerians. Okay, the reason I'm talking about competition of resources. Remember, Nigeria and South Africa has also minerals, so you'll find that most of the Nigerians are going to those countries for for taking uh, to, to do their businesses. But this leads, ends up into a xenophobic because uh, South Africans don't want these people here because they are out-competing. They are out-competing their, uh, their, their market. They are making their market to go down or they are making their economy to go down. Okay? Remember, most of the Nigerians are usually frauds. Okay. So, the South Africans hate this so much and they say that they need to go back to their country and even... Some of the South Africans are saying Nigerians should be getting, uh, should be get rid of in that country. Okay. Then there's another one about the criminal activities. In some countries, uh, Nigeria have been involved in crime activities such as drug trafficking or human trafficking. These isolated uh, incidents can unfairly shape negative perception of the Nigerian population. Remember. What I'm talking about, these are just stereotypes which have been perceived by other African countries. Okay? Now, if these are being perceived by other countries, then it, it is likely to be 30% true. I didn't say that most of them are having that stereotype, are having that characters. But there are a, a lot of positive aspects about Nigeria. Okay? These were just negative. But also there are a lot of positive. Okay, there are positive aspects of Nigerians that are as appreciated both within the uh, country and across Africa and the world. So here are some of the positive in, uh, aspects. Like you'll find, there is cultural diversity and richness. Like cultural heritage, like and, and Nigerians uh, is home of over 250 ethnic groups, each with its distinct language traditions and cultural practices. This diversity is celebrated and contributes to a vibrant cultural uh, landscape. Then there's another one about the music entertainment. Nigeria has a thriving music scene, particularly with Afrobeats which has gained international recognition, like the Banner Boy, Wizkid and Dead the Video, becoming global stars. Then there's another one about the Nollywood. Nigerian's film industry is one of the largest in the world producing a vast uh, array of films that are popular, popular across Africa and beyond.
So the the Nigerians are like uh, our father to Africa when it comes to music, when it comes to uh, filming, uh, when it comes to movies. And that is the pure, pure truth about Nigeria. Then there's another one about the economic potential. Like you'll find that Nigeria has the largest economic African in Africa and driven by the oil and gas resources as well as it is growing a sector like a teleco a telecommunication, agriculture and, uh, and services. Then there's another one about entrepreneurial spirit. This is where most of Africa now are going to long ahead with the Nigerians. Where they believe that whenever a Nigerian touches your businesses, it must strive. Because Nigerians are known for their entrepreneurial spirit with many skills and medium sized ent uh, enterprises, that is SMEs, contributing significantly to the economy. When you go to Nigeria, there are a lot of skills. There are a lot of skills which are discovered and others are undiscovered because of its population and competition. So, Nigerian entrepreneurs are also increasingly involved in tech and innovation, leading a growing startup economy ecosystem in Africa. And that is what me, me as a Kenyan have always admired about Nigeria, is that they have entrepreneurial spirit. Then there's another one about the leadership in Africa. You'll find that region, regional influence, like Nigeria plays a key role in African politics and economy. It is leading many members of uh, economic like members of ECOWAS, and has contributed significantly at, uh, to peacekeeping missions across the end, uh, continent. Pan-African advocacy. Nigeria has is historically been strong, advocated for African unity and independence, playing a crucial role in movement against apartheid in Af South Africa and colonial rule in other Af African nations. Then there's another about the youth and innovation where Nigeria has been a bargaining tech scene, particularly in Lagos, often referred to as a Silicon Valley of Africa. Nigeria startups are making strides in fintech, e-commerce, and digital services. Youth population, with this large population, Nigeria has a significant demographic advantage. Like these young people are increasingly in tech savvy, creativity, and entrepreneur contributing to the country's dynamic development. Then there's about the resilience and adaptability, where Nigerians are known for their resilience and ab ability to adapt to any challenges issues. This is contributed by the Nigerian government, where they are making the life of Nigerians to be very, very hard, making many Nigerians to move out of Nigeria to search for their, uh, for their, their income outside the Nigeria. And that's why you'll find that most of the Nigerians are in most part of, uh, of, the, of, the, of the Africa and most part of the world. This is because they have a resilience and adaptability, 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 okay? So, diaspora contributions. Yeah? The Nigerians' diaspora is one of the most dynamic uh, in the world, contributing significantly to the global economy and representing the country positively in various fields, including academic medicine, businesses, and, enter and entertainment. Then there's about the sports and achievements. Have you heard about the sports and achievements? Like you'll find that Nigeria has a strong, uh, Nigeria has a strong presence in the international sports, particularly in fut football, that is soccer. The Nigerian uh, national teams have achieved significant success including winning the Africa Cup of Nations and Olympic gold medal in, in football. Nigeria has also produced world-class athletes in athletics, boxing, and basketball. So overall, uh, Nigeria is just a significant and a potential and a wide array of positive attributes. From its cultural and economic contributions to its leadership role in Africa and its dynamic youth, planning about is that there are a lot of positive things about Africa and a lot of positive things about South Africa and many many other countries so I believe the things the minor things which we usually con uh, con count in are making the Africa to lag behind so I believe it is high time for Africa to get united especially South Africa and Nigeria 
This message is being sent to you from Clinton, the Kenyan boy, to South Africans and Nigeria that we need to start stopping. We need to stop this idea of fighting one another. I think it is not time to fight one another. The time is to build Africa and make Africa the strongest continent where we have unity and we are not being overpowered by other European nations, where we are not being made made to make decisions based on their endless points, where we are not being given loans for development so that we can be in a shackle or trapped in debt. So I believe it is time for Africa to develop and make their country work at their best. So this message which I was bringing for you was not about negativity but was also about the stereotypes which many nations have always talked about in about Nigerians. So guys, thank you for watching this video. My name is Golden Boy.